New game, new game, new game, because today we are playing a new game called Kobo Core, and honestly, I've been loving it, so I hope that you love it too. It is a beautiful mix between Slay the Spire, Advance Wars 2, and like, space. So come along for the journey that is our first look at Kobo Core. If you enjoy it, then do I even need to ask? Subscribe for more, because there will be more. Welcome back to Janice to something as always a little bit different, where today we're playing a combination of Slay the Spire and kind of like Into the Breach to bring you Kobo Core. That's right, it's kind of a new deck building roguelike story driven type of game and I saw maybe a couple of minutes of gameplay on it and I decided immediately that I was going to love it. I already do love it and I want to play it, you know, off of what I saw. I'm like, this is going to be a game that I'm definitely going to want to play and give you guys a first time experience along with the ride. So, hey, the best way to check out a game is to just play it. So why don't we go ahead and jump right into this? And this is a new game. It is um, it just came out, I think, a few days ago on November 8th. So this is all very new to us. Mobile active terminal loading personality core corrupted. Uh oh, what do we have going on here? We had a little cat floating through the air and oh, very scenic. And it almost reminds me of that cat like you like kissing boys, don't you cat? <laughs> personality core patch. They're loading up a new personality core. They seem to be kind of hello. Ooh, ooh cat dot exe. All right, <laughs> dot dot dot. Hey. Wake up. My head. Okay, good. Your vinyl seems stable. What's happening? I had to wake you all up from cryo sleep earlier. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. My memories? I needed those. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not I'm not gonna bother with the voices. I'm not gonna bother with voices. I imagine there's not gonna be that much dialogue to, <laughs> to really bother with that. I assume. Sorry, I had no choice. The command terminal will only respond to meat-based life forms. And I guess cat.exe is not meat-based. They seem like a like a program. And there's a ship off the bow powering up their weapons. Everyone to the bridge now. All right, we're actually taking a first look at exactly what it is we have in store for us. So play cards to outwit your point. You draw five cards each turn. Okay. Each card costs energy. They're in the very top left of each of these cards. A card's energy costs channel at the very top left. Yep. And your energy, you have three energy per turn. Use it or lose it. Energy does not last between rounds. Okay, that should be noted. It's not going to carry over. Attack your enemy with your primary attack card. So kind of these red ones, a basic shot. Okay, it did one damage. You can always see what an enemy is planning to do. This enemy intends to attack you for one damage. Okay, so again, you can see their intent. They're going to be firing from the main cannon there and doing one damage. We should block their attack with some shield. All right, now we have one shield there. You still got one energy. Play the rest of this turn out yourself. Okay, so let's take a look at the UI while we have a chance here. So we did, uh, we have their health bar there and we also have their shields. So they have eight hole and three out of four of their shields because we just attacked once. And I also have one shield and out of four. So you can only have a maximum of four shield, it seems, to start off with. We do have our energy down there, very bottom left. We kind of have some characters. We got Dizzy, we got Riggs, and we got Perry. We have our draw pile, so you can actually see what's still in our deck right now. A basic dodge, block shot, draw shot, scramble, lunge. Okay, very nice. And then I, I get back with that way. Well, we are going to be defending against their one shot. So I suppose we may as well do a couple of shots back. We have a multi shot for one energy that does two damage. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, what's the shield surge? Block up to one upcoming damage, capped by max shield and temp shield. Block up to one incoming damage goes away at the start of next turn. Oh, okay, so that means that regular shield can carry over, but temp shield is only for this turn alone. Okay, that's nice to know. So we do a couple, of, do a multi shot there. We're out of energy. Time to hit and turn. Thank you, cat.exe. Yikes, evade's a big attack. We can use evade to dodge attacks. Play this card to gain one evade. Okay, so we have our basic dodge card. Let's see here. Statuses are shown below your ship. Some have passive effects, others are used as resources. Evade is status you can use to move around. Okay, so yeah, we have one evade there. Spend one evade to dodge the shot. Any evade you don't use will carry into future turns. That should be noticed, so we can stack up evade. We have moved ourselves one to the right. You got the basics down. Remember, you can always hover over cars, characters, or anything else for more info. Good luck out there. Well, thank you, cat.exe. Okay, so yeah, this seems all very... It seems very straightforward. You know, we have like block shots, something that does like one attack and also gives us one temporary shield. Draw shot, attack once, draw two cards. We have two evade, which also takes two energy. We have a move right and attack. So we move two spaces and then we attack. All right, so let's just do a draw shot, I suppose, and see if we can get another damage or maybe like a multi shot. We do not get it. 
However, the evade does hold over, does carry over. So I think we'll just do a regular draw shots. No, let's do a regular block shot, I suppose, because all these are going to be reset. We lose all our cards each turn. We draw five cards each turn. He's going to be doing one damage to us. So let's go ahead and see if we can do a basic block to block that one damage, do a multi shot and a basic shot. Very nice. There we go. I think the hang of this seems pretty straightforward. I mean, nothing too complicated just yet. This is kind of like that Slay of Spire aspect where you really do kind of have a deck builder. Uh, let's see here. So he's not attacking. The enemy is going to apply status effect to itself and the enemy is going to raise their shields, cannot exceed their maximum amount. So I need to do as much damage as I possibly can right now then, right? So let's do a basic shot. We can do a lunge, remove two to the right and do a shot. And then I suppose we can just do a regular block shot. Yeah, there we go. So now they only have one health left and perhaps we'll be ready to take them out next turn. They have power drive, add one damage to all attacks. Ooh, okay. So let's see here. I kind of want to do basic dodge. They have three health left, right? So I can do draw shot and multi shot. So if I do a basic dodge move to the right, my cannon is now in position to hit their ship. I can do multi shot and draw shot and take them out. Yes, there we go. <laughs> It's very nice for a tutorial, I, I, you know, kind of like mission. Artifacts are held by the ship's crew and can change the rules of combat. You can have multiple on each crewmate. Okay. Warp prep. Gain one shield and one evade on the first turn. Block up to one incoming. Okay, so on the very first turn, we get one shield and we get one evade. Very nice. And it looks like that goes up to cap at the very top. And what do we have? We have our card choices. Okay, so we have lunge. We, that's another lunge, so we can move two spaces and move, move to the right and attack. We also have attack stone cancel the intent of the target ship parts it's a ship part okay so that should be noted that i think you know it's the ship part the part that we hit and the ships height seem to have other different types of parts on it so i think that's not gonna be that effective a big shield with three defense seems kind of nice uh i suppose i kind of want to do lunge though i think being able to move two spaces for one energy is gonna be more useful than actually having the attack so we can probably use this more to dodge and maybe do damage if we really wanted to. So let's let's do lunge and do that as our choice. Oh, I'm starting to remember. Right, the cobalt, the hyperdrive. Yeah, you blew it up. Maybe I vaguely remember pushing a button and then a white light. Yeah, you blew it up. Guys, shut up. You have this argument every loop. I've heard it 517 times now. Oh, okay. So I know it kind of briefly mentioned that I think in the beginning when it was kind of going through the dialogue, but they appear to be in a loop. So they're going round and around and around. That's kind of a nice story element to explain why you might be doing this as a roguelike where you kind of do just do the same missions over and over again. So 517 times out. Fine. All right. We've got the coordinates of the Cobalt program. Let's get there and stop the time loop. See, Riggs remembers usually she's the last one. Okay. So Riggs is a girl. Uh, I'm improving. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. So we have, this is our movement tree. This is the pathing that we can take all the way to the end. We have a warp point to the next sector all the way at the end on top of a, what looks like a boss battle, an unknown powerful entity. We have a few choices here. So we can do an unknown energy source, a common enemy, a counter. So all these regular blue skulls are regular enemies. Uh, we have a repair yard with upgrades and removal and artifacts. What are these purple looking ones? An, an unusually strong enemy counter. So those are like the mini bosses. All right. Well, I kind of want to go for the question marks first and see exactly what we have in store for us. I want to do question mark, basic battle, and then do one of these upgrades. Picking up a distress signal? Wait, no, it's a pirate. Why is it always a pirate? <laughs> Drake, hey, give me the artifact or else. Uh, give her warp prep. No, I'm not going to give you a warp prep. Yeah, let's go into combat. Ooh, okay, so... Objects in mid row are between you and the enemy ship and can block attacks. They are much weaker than a ship and will be destroyed if they are hit by anything at all. Okay. Watch out. If this attack hits you, it'll also give you a status effect. Okay. Uh, if the enemy is going to attack and apply status if it hits. Okay. Well, I don't know what kind of status it's going to be, but I'm not really seeing a good way to dodge this. So we start off with one evade and we essentially need to move over one, two, three, four pieces of movement here. So I could actually, I could do a scramble and then a lunge. Let's see, move left or right with 80 cost one evade. So I'm going to do a scramble and I'm going to do a lunge. 
So I, I get off one shot and then use my evade to actually evade out of the way. There we go. That's actually a nice little start there. Kind of evade those status effects. Uh, he's going to be doing four damage to that asteroid. We'll block one attack before being destroyed. Right. So we want to do... No, it lunges. To, it keeps moving to the right. I don't seem to have anything that can maybe just move me to the left. I mean, I do have a regular basic dodge and a draw shot. Um, I mean, is there any way to maybe flip this so it goes to the left? Maybe if we can upgrade it later on. I'm going to go ahead then and do a let's do a basic dodge. Let's do a draw shot, and then we could also. No, I think we can't really do much in this instance. I want to save that one evasion for maybe next turn because they seem to carry over. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of keep it there, I suppose. Yeah, can't do much this turn. He does fire at the asteroid. Uh, okay, so we have one evade. I basically need to move over three spaces. I do have a scramble there. So why don't we go ahead and I could do a shield charge, which actually cover up two damage, meaning I would only need to move over... No, I think we still got to do the scramble. Yeah, we still got to do the scramble. And then I think we need to do a basic shot here and just move over my three spaces and evade that entirely. We're not doing a whole lot of damage. It seems to be a kind of a strong fight to start off with. Not going to lie. Um, I'm going to do a lunge. So I go over two spaces and hit them pretty good here. Do a do a lunge. We can do a multi shot. And then we don't really need, we are going to be taking a hit here, but we do have one shield. So that is good. I want to do a draw shot then. We, yeah, we only get basic shot and scramble, but we don't have any energy left over. But I don't know if we'll get that status effect even with a shield. And we're about to find out. Okay, it did add a status effect even with the shield. And we have heat, excess heat. If the heat is three or more at the end of turn, overheat, take one whole damage and reset heat to zero. Okay, so I don't want to get hit multiple times is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I want to make sure that I don't get hit multiple times. So I'm going to do a draw shot for a chance to maybe get multi shot, which is exactly what I need because all their damage goes straight into the asteroid. So I can use this to my advantage just to hit this guy as much as I possibly can. There we go. Did some great damage against him. Yep, the asteroid blocks that. We are going to be taking three damage here. Uh, probably going to be a little bit more of that burn. I want to do a scrabble and move out of the way because i need to move over oh boy um I actually i don't think i can move over enough because i am going to be still taking one hit regardless it seems like unless i were to move over three spaces no i can't get three spaces right so i may as well just try to take the least amount of damage i'm going to do a lunge and then i suppose i can do another i could do a scrabble I'm still gonna be taking a hit here, right? So I think I need to let's 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 do let's do Scrabble because I can't get off another shot and not also get hit by him at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my one hit damage of whole damage, unfortunately. Okay, let's see. I can patch that up later. Dizzy can. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I would like to I would like to move over one and maybe get some damage in on him, but let's see here. We don't have a lunge ability, do we? No, we do not. I can do a multi shot and get in a shot here. And I can also do a block shot, which means I can also do a basic dodge and move out of the way of his three damage. There we go. Yeah, this one is a little difficult. So this is kind of like almost seems like a little bit of a mini boss, it seems. Um, I really, re okay, actually, no, I think I can do this. Draw shot, he only has three health. I also get a multi shot. Yeah, and there we go. We've taken out the pirate. Oh, baby. We did mention it lose one health. Well, blocker burnout. Max shield is lowered by one. So you can increase the amount of like maximum shield you can hold, but you also gain four incoming damage like temp shield corrosion beam. This will be applied to enemy whenever they are. Deal one whole damage at the end of every turn. So for two energy, it'll do one whole damage every turn. That's honestly not bad. I think I will take that. That seems pretty good. If you can get that early on too. Pick an artifact. Okay, yeah, that must have been a little bit of a mini boss right off the bat. Our very first like choice that we get a first like, mini boss because we are getting a relic choice after this, it seems. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card. That doesn't seem like it'll happen that often. When you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain one shield. Okay, so you can kind of just like get extra shield, gain one energy every third turn. Ooh. Ooh, I think I want that. I want that. Yeah, being able to get one extra energy every three turns, that seems really useful. So this regular battle is probably going to seem like a cakewalk to me then, right? So I can just go ahead and just try to maximize on this. I can probably do a double lunge effect 
just go ahead and dodge dodge that over we are going to be taking one hit and i can just do another basic dodge and just move off to the side there we go dodge both of those those are the enemy is going to give you a card this can't be dodged get ready it can't be dodged okay so i have to take that like no matter what then so i'm going to do a corrosive beam just try to get that on let me gain a status you might want to hover over to see what it does yeah that's the one that does one whole damage every turn and i'm going to do a basic shot i suppose as well yeah let's, let's do a basic shot then so do, just try to take away his shield a little bit what cards is he going to give us trash okay i guess there are things that are just yeah they're just going to take up space in our inventory which is a little unfortunate um i can do a i do have four energy right now so let's do a draw shot so i get my extra two pieces let's do a multi shot let's do a one two let's do a basic shot i think no let's let's do a lunge and get rid of this trash yeah get rid of one of the trashes i, I could have done another basic shot but oh well he's gonna be giving us more trash here which is not very good i want not actually getting very good choices here on this one which is a little unfortunate so i think i'm gonna do a block shot and i'm gonna do a double shield up attack maybe i should have done a basic uh dodge but uh, now i can go ahead and save that three energy yeah because look at that i'm gonna be taking four damage and i have nothing to really block that at all okay well i'm just gonna be simply taking four damage <laughs> i thought maybe maybe i'll get a shield but the trash has taken up my room yeah there's one damage off my hole unfortunately he only has four health left though so if i can get lucky just do that put on a basic evade put on a shield charge as well so next turn he should be getting taken out he has one shield left oh never mind and he takes the one corrosive damage the corrosive damage kills him i forgot about that oh yeah there we go baby hell yeah okay well we have our stun shot we also evasive shot now that's what i want let's see move left or right with one i want to be able to do one damage and evade at the same time but also only for one energy that is super good so let's go ahead and move over to a repair yard Howdy. oh you know same old same one what's this loot 400 or something 517 well let's get you on your way can i get you anything a cleo so they can repair us for six health remove a card or upgrade a card let's go ahead and take a look at the upgrade card so i can looking at the corrosive beam i can get this to cost one less corrosion or one less energy or i can upgrade this to a level three but does two corrosion now that could be really good if i find myself in a turn where they're not gonna be doing much to me I can upgrade the multi shot to do three damage, one that ignores all shields and armor. Ooh, okay. Got scramble. It's gonna add me three evasion, maybe one that gives instantly moves two spaces in a random direction and gives you two evade. Okay, so that could be kind of helpful. Uh, evasive shot. You can actually upgrade to just do two damage and get two evade. Ooh, only for one energy too, but that does exhaust it. Oh, okay. So that does add the exhaust. So playing this will remove the card from the rest of combat. I kind of want the corrosion beam because that's going to be just guaranteed damage. And I think I would rather make it cost one energy and just try to get that out of the way instead of trying to worry about getting off of two for three energy. Yeah, let's go ahead and lower the cost of our corrosion beam. And I think next time I want to do an upgrade on that uh, evade attack. So we are up right into another battle. And oh, this is actually going to be really good for a corrosion if we could get it. The enemy is going to launch an object. Be careful. We don't know what it is yet. Yeah, the, uh, a missile bay. Well, I, I think they're going to be launching a missile. Um, <laughs> I, th I think it's going to be launching a missile. You know, call, call me crazy. I'm not too certain yet, but it could be a missile. So he has really low hole points, but lots of shield. So I'm going to try to do as much damage as I possibly can and try to take this guy out. Get rid of that thing in the center so I don't have to worry about it at all. I'm going to just do a block shot just in case that does hit me. And I want to do an evasive shot so I can actually store that evasion for next turn. Okay, yes, he so he does attack drone mark two. Shoots a two damage shot once per turn. So it's gonna be shooting once here in front of it. So I'm gonna do a lunge attack, do one damage there. I'm gonna do a corrosion beam, apply that to him. And then I suppose I can do let's do a draw shot, I suppose. Just try to do damage in general. Not that we really need it. Still got our one invasion. He's sending out more objects. They attack drone mark two. They've got two drones out here now. Oh boy. Uh, I'm going to actually do a multi shot then and try to get through that. Yeah, two shots take out the drone. One hits his body. I'm going to do a 
I'm going to do an evasive shot again because I get another evasion to that. And because I have two energy left, I'm just going to do a basic dodge. Now I have four evasion. I can probably use that super well to my ability here in this next couple turns. He only has four health left. And hey, look at that lunge attack. Um, uh, uh, let's see here. Basic shot, lock shot, and he only has one health left. And that should be it. That should be it. Corrosive damage. Here we come. Wait for it. And he gets taken out. There we go. <laughs> that corrosion is really nice. Whiplash. Instantly move two spaces to the left. Attack. And then move one space to the right. We can hold. This part takes one more damage from all attacks, but it does exhaust. It costs three energy for that. I'd rather just take another multi-shot, honestly. Yeah, let's go to take another multi-shot. We have a chance at an artifact and a mini boss battle. Yeah, let's go artifact, a mini boss, and then question mark is going to be better than artifact rugger uh, enemy and then question mark so go to pick an artifact um well we only have one artifact uh heal one after each combat yeah that seems really good that mean that means uh we are missing two health so that's gonna be really good for just getting that back naturally there's a pilot hearing this how can you tell that they're a pirate they have a big skull painted on their hole <laughs> doesn't mean it's gonna be a pirate ah surrender or drop your shields or i'll drop them for you um no have it your way <laughs> Burger King. Oh, and instantly right off the bat. Look at this. Their their K is going straight into the asteroid. So I don't even have to worry about this. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a multi-shot uh and then just two basic shots right off the bat. That seems really easy. Right off the yeah. Good. Their shields are already gone. Beautiful. The asteroids are in the way. I do want to dodge that if I can. Uh let's do a multi-shot let's do a corrosion beam let's do a basic dodge and i probably should have done a scramble actually now that i think about it uh and i suppose a shields charge so we keep on one of those shields move out of the way probably sh should have definitely done the one where i got more evasion um let's see here we do have an evasive shot ability we also have draw shots um I can't do evasive shot because I'll actually take out the asteroid and make me do more, take more damage in the long run. I can do a block shot and move to the right. No, let's, let's do a draw. Sh no. Well, okay. Hang on a second. <laughs> hang on. I think I might just have to take the shot. I, I, I don't want to break that asteroid right now. I mean, I do have three shield, but I'd rather just still have two shield left over after this um yeah he has corrosion on he's gonna be taking damage so i don't need to necessarily try to do more damage to him he's already taken hits for this and yet look just like that we are gonna be taking one damage now from the cannon i will get another burn on me that's fine though i'm gonna do a multi-shot basic shot basic shot do crap tons of damage to him still got one shield left and still one heat away from taking extra damage for that and i do not have anything to necessarily i'm going to double dodge this and then basic dodge this yeah yeah i'm gonna have to do something along those lines i need to dodge that i don't want to be getting hit by that at all all i need to do now is a little bit of basic damage which should be able to do evasive shot and do my do my multi shots and we are golden there we go nice we have ourselves a new card gotten through our first little mini boss again our first real mini boss by choice <laughs> instead of getting one through a question mark hermes boots whenever you move move one further loses at the end of your turn retain this card is discarded at the end of your turn and it's also exhausted Ooh, i mean it doesn't seem that helpful what about flux whenever this ship attacks against one temp shield decreases by one at the end of turn Okay, it gains one temp shield, decreases by one at the end of turn. I'm not, does that mean I just lose the temp shield? Attack, damage, equal total damage of enemies, cannon attacks. Ooh, a parry. Playing this will remove this card from the rest of the combat. So if we, if we are be taking a lot of damage, we can do just as much damage back to them. That seems kind of nice. It seems like a, seems like a rare instance that we would have to use that, but I think it'd be pretty helpful to do massive amounts of damage instead of taking a massive amounts of damage. Uh, your next attack was, ooh, wait, hang on a second. You yeah, have a stun calibrator. After your first attack each turn, gain one stun charge. Your next one attacks will stun. So after your first attack you each turn, you gain one stun charge. After your first attack each turn. So basically my second attack of every turn stuns them. That's actually pretty good. That's really good. Your first attack each turn pierces, ignores all shields and armor. Your first attack each turn. Ooh, okay. Uh, that seems really good as well. Each turn. That, that's, that's very careful. It's not each battle. It's each turn. 
jump yourselves at the start of combat gain temp shields equal to your missing hole okay i think i, I want to do piercer that's just a good way to get through any forms of shield on the very first turn ow my brain ah oh, you all again an extra planar beam neat what do you value most um what do i value most add a card to your drop pile completely removes it from your deck after oh so single use single use single use they're in the very bottom right there's actually all single use cards i can only use it once so i suppose i would probably want to do damage i mean seven damage to like the boss here coming up seems pretty useful if i could just you know hightail a whole crap down of damage out in a single turn yeah let's do seven damage it's only gonna be a single use so we got to use it sparingly up to another upgrade station hello there cleo hello can i get you anything i want to upgrade a card again what about scrabble scrabble yeah that's what we were looking at before multi-shot upgrading can be really nice to a number three what can we upgrade parry to so we can upgrade it to where it doesn't get exhausted so we can keep it around but we also can upgrade it to still be exhausted but also have retained this card is not discarded at the end of your turn so you can kind of sit there and like wait for a good moment to use it i mean i kind of want lunge not lunge i want um where is it where is it where it's not block shot draw shot uh 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 where is it hang on where's the one that allows me to yeah evasive shot i kind of want evasive shot because this was giving me two attack plus an evade and instead of two and two but also exhaust itself i kind of want to do two damage and evade that seems the most helpful it just seems really nice honestly even like better than shield charge i mean shield charge two shields and one temp shield for a single cost is pretty good as well on top of who draw shot can draw me three cards and on single damage that lots of good choices here lots of good choices but i think i'm gonna stick with my gut here and upgrade evasive shot to do more damage yeah let's go ahead and get that one out of the way wow cool i know i know cleo all right on to the boss battle dizzy um <clears throat> riggs are you picking up anything hostile ships on your radar no why my sensors are going crazy over here let's see no 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 warp core signatures within a light year hmm I want to switch sensors to visual spectrum. Ah, okay. Uh, big crystal. Huh? Big crystal. Oh, that's a big crystal. <laughs> yeah, Barry, Barry goes, ah, big crystal. That is a big crystal. Yeah, I, I would have to say that is a big crystal. <laughs> All right, well, um, we're going to be taking one damage immediately, and we are already seem to have lots of attacks here. I kind of want to do a draw shot draw a little bit more which is nice because then i can get the multi-shot going off and on top of that i kind of want to do a i'm actually going to do a block shot because my temp shield should be able to block that one temp damage and i should be able to keep my blue shield that carries over right so i think it goes through a temp shield first at least i would think it would right yes it does it went through our temp shields first okay very nice um we still have our basic dodge which I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do my basic dodge. Now we can move over two spaces as well. Um, I could do Scrabble. I'm going to move over two spaces, do my multi-shot. And I, I think I want to do Scrabble. While I still have two extra energy, I would like to do a little bit more damage. But that little bit more damage is not going to be as important as just trying to avoid from dying. You know, I want to take as least amount of damage as possible. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> well, huh. Right. Um... I'm going to do an evasive shots, right? So if I, I still have two movements pieces and I have one shield, I need to do a shield surge because that'll give me three shield. I need to move over a couple pieces with lunge. And then I will also do, do I want, do I want, I, I think I'm going to do corrosion beam because that's going to be guaranteed damage. Just get that one out of the way too, because it also gets it out of my deck. It's one less card I have to worry about. We are going to be taking two damage again. So I'm actually going to do a block shot. So I get one temporary. I'm going to do a draw shot to maybe see if I can get a multi shot. I cannot, I will get a basic dodge though. Yeah, I, I'm going to do a basic dodge. I am going to take two hits here, but I'm still not going to be losing any hole. Still doing fine. That is going to be three damage though right there. I can parry for eight damage. Oh, okay. So attack damage equals total damage of enemies cannons. So I could do eight damage right here and still have one health left. Hmm. One, let's see. It has 19 hole. Okay. I'm glad I don't have to count those. <laughs> I'm really glad I don't have to count those. Um, 
we are gonna be taking three damage so i really can't do anything else this can be eight i could do two 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 that could be four five yeah, no, this parry is actually the best one right now. So I'm going to parry, do eight damage and do a basic block to reduce that number by at least one damage. I'm going to take a couple of hits to my hole there. Yep. Okay. Now that, that is a lot that is coming my way. So I need to be careful about this one. I want to do a, I want to do a draw shot. See if maybe I can get, no, we also got lunge again. I'm going to move over a couple spaces and I suppose I'm going to do a block shot for one temporary move no i'm not gonna move i'm gonna stay right where i am stay exactly where i am and i will do a basic shot do a little bit more damage on him here we go the temp shield is holding that is gonna be four damage to me uh we can take him out right now which i think i will do with the ethereal blast he has six hole left i have i don't want to waste it though he has six i basically need to do five i need to do evasive shot two three four five that is going to be all three. Now, the question is, is he going to fire first and then take corrosive or is he going to take corrosive before firing? That is the question. Um, as if he fires first, then I say let's not risk it. I, I think he does fire first and then he takes corrosion. So that's going to be unnecessary damage that I do not need to be taking. Let's go ahead and use my Furial Blast. Yeah, there we go and take out the first boss of the floor. Oh, so we get plus two max hole. So plus nine hole. Oh, we, okay. So we get plus two max hole and we take, no, we heal nine hole and we get two max hole overall. Okay. Now I understand. So we do go up a little bit. We do heal at the end. So I guess it didn't really have to matter too much about taking damage. Um, I think I'm going to do another corrosion beam because if I could upgrade this again, even to the better version or to the version where it exhausts itself, I think that'd be really nice. Or actually, I think it goes up to two. Guess we'll have to just uh, check later on. Demon thrusters, rigs, boss artifacts. Let's see, you gain one evade every turn. You can no longer have more than three evade at a time. Okay, but you do get one evade every turn. That seems pretty good. Warp mastery releases warp prep, gain three shield and three evade on the first turn. Ooh, ooh, that seems really good. I pick up, remove three cards. No, 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 no. Okay, do I want demon thrusters where I can gain an evade every single turn? I mean, I, am I really going to need more than three evade? I don't think so, but immediately starting with three shield and three evade, that could be really good starting out in general, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of, ooh, <laughs> that is a tough choice. They're both really, really good. Hey, leave a comment down below on what you think you want the choice to be. If you want it to be a warp mastery or demon thrusters. Honestly, I think I'm going to go for demon thrusters because that just seems like a really nice. We already get one block and one evade to start off with. So we may as well we gain. Yeah, we already gained one and one. We may as well just get another one every turn, even if it only means having a max of three. I don't think that's going to be detrimental, but I've never played this game all the way through. So what do I know? Demon thrusters it is. Nice. That's the first time you guys managed to beat that thing. Oh, really? So this is different than every other loop. Wait, really? How many times have we tried? <laughs> you don't want to know. Apparently 517 times. What even was it? If these readings are correct, I think it's some kind of time crystal. Whoa, a time crystal. I've seen microscopic ones in the lab and a Colwell's particle accelerator. Well, I lot it up, but never so large. Wow. Did the microscopic ones try to kill you? Hmm. Not a way that I was able to perceive. No. <laughs> Let's keep moving. We move on to another part of the map. I believe at warp point to the next sector. But I tell you what, Digi D's, that is where I'm going to leave off on today's episode. I know, I know. Hey, it's been about 30 minutes for the recording. I, I've been really enjoying this game. If you guys have been enjoying it, make sure you go to like the video, comment down below what you like and enjoy most about this game. And do you want to see more? Because I'm definitely be playing more of it. I, I like it. It seems fun. It seems like a good deck builder. Who knows what the next area is going to hold in store for us. Maybe it'll be a shorter episode. Maybe it'll be a longer one. You know, as part of it was kind of the, the tutorial. So maybe we can move through it a little bit faster next time, which I think we definitely will. But other than that, thank you to GDs for watching the video. I tell you what, I'm loving it. It's good to be back. This is also my first recording or my second recording after being sick. So I'm still recording this on a Saturday, you know, when I'm still a little bit under the weather, but uh, doing good, doing great now. Thank you for all the support you've shown in the past on the community notes and the video and all that fun stuff. And yeah. Thank you for watching the video. I tell you what, I still don't know how to do any of these outros. There's one thing I can always guarantee you. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.